I hate these long-range patrols. We fly for hours and nothing ever happens. Rick, flight designation Cowboys 3, complained over the communications subnet assigned to the four fighters. They are worse than KP duty. Triss, Cowboys 4, piled on. The 12 craft that made up the Cowboys fighter squadron were currently assigned to the Earth battleship known as Alice 3. The name was in honor of the artificial life form that resided within. All Earth fighter squadrons rotated between the battleship, the space carrier Kola, and any number of cruisers and destroyers in the human fleet for their space duties. Next were the space stations situated throughout the galaxy, and finally there were Earth-based assignments when they went space crazy. The Earth Force's command considered the rotation to be a great way for pilots to hone their skills in ever-changing conditions and avoid complacency. Be happy you are flying today. The rest of the squadron is on maintenance duty in the hangar. Call sign Buck, or Cowboys One, the flight leader, replied, as he checked his displays for the millionth time. The complaining, while considered every pilot's right, had him thinking his people were being complacent with the routine. And that was dangerous. The entire Cowboys squadron had been subdivided into three groups of four fighters. This collection of four pilots had been dispatched as part of a regular scouting patrol. These patrols were standard procedure whenever one of the large military ships was on stationary assignment in unknown space. A trip of four hours and four back, flying away from the system they were guarding and scanning in all directions, gave them an over-the-horizon peak. Once they returned, the next flight of four craft would launch, ensuring a constant presence in near space from which to intercept inbound hostiles as early as possible. The term over the horizon was a legacy reference used by planetary vessels. By launching aircraft to greater altitudes or in specific directions, they saw past the curve of the planet. The goal was to prevent unwanted visitors from surprising the larger vessel unprepared for a fight by staying just beyond the planet's horizon until ready to strike.